Welcome to the session on competitive analysis. I'm Karen Carner, and I'll be your host. The videotape you are about to see presents the results of Xerox's in-depth analysis of the competitive marketplace for desktop publishing. To sell documenters in a competitive environment, you need an edge. The real edge we're about to give you is information about the other guy's product. The major competition you'll be up against will consist of software written for the Apple Macintosh and the IBM PC. In this program, we're going to compare documenter strengths and weaknesses in light of this competition. We're also going to have a showdown, a knockdown drag out contest in which documenter goes head to head in a detailed comparison of features with PageMaker on the Macintosh, the current market leader in page composition software. To begin with, let's take a look at the big picture. Let's compare Documenter against the Macintosh and the IBM PC on a few basic features. The first item to consider is the user interface. We have to acknowledge that the Macintosh interface is easier to learn and easier to use than the Documenter. A major appeal of the Mac is the consistency across all its application software. PageMaker makes optimal use of the Macintosh interface. This makes learning PageMaker more like an extension of learning MacWrite or MacPaint. But this ease of use comes at a high price in terms of ultimate productivity, because once you put PageMaker to the test, once you try to do large projects with it, like a lot of editing with a lot of text and graphics, the Mac can come to a grinding halt. The documenter does take a little longer to learn. To execute commands on the documenter, you have to keep track of more areas. You've got the mouse, you've got the special function keys on the keyboard, and you've got the property sheets. So there's definitely more to learn on the documenter, but with that added knowledge comes more power, more productivity, more features, all well integrated. That's how you'll beat the competition. Power, productivity, and integration. Now let's take a look at the display screen. Documenter is a clear winner here. Documenter's display screen is the largest in the industry, and it has the highest resolution. This allows for larger images and for more desktop space to work with. You can put two full-size pages side by side on documenter screen and read the text clearly on each of them. The standard IBM graphics monitor doesn't have the screen resolution to display more than a third of one page, and the characters won't be nearly as sharp as those on the documenter. The Macintosh is only slightly better. You can get a full page of text with PageMaker on the Mac, but the print's so tiny that you virtually need a magnifying glass to read it. The great measure of productivity is time. The more you can do in a given period of time, the more productive you are. Multitasking means that several computer operations can occur at the same time. Compared to the competition, only the documenter is a true multitasking machine, which makes it a great time saver and productivity tool. For instance, multitasking means that you can edit several documents in overlapping windows. You can run Lotus 1, 2, 3 and cut and paste data into another document on the same screen. You can send a document to the laser printer, and while printing goes on in the background, you can continue editing all at the same time. The competition can't come close to this functionality. At most, the Macintosh provides a switcher option, which allows you to move easily from application to application. But that's not really multitasking. The IBM PC offers double DOS or Microsoft Windows. But that isn't true multitasking either, since only one application is active at any one time. With the Macintosh and the IBM, you spend a lot of time waiting. And time spent waiting is time wasted. And time wasted costs money. Having all your desktop elements well integrated is the sign of an efficient, easy to use system. Compared to the competition, the documenter is far superior in the way it allows you to combine document elements like text, graphics, and tables into one document. IBM is dependent on the conversion capabilities of the application programs, which are considerably poorer by comparison. The Macintosh is only a little better than the IBM. It uses a clipboard to move data from application to application. Only the documenter is well integrated. As far as integrating desktop functions, documenter really shines. 
Let's see if we can get an insider's view on how Documenter integrates some of its desktop functions. Hey, wow, this is fantastic. I, I can't believe I'm here. Why, in both the IBM and Macintosh environments, you've got to exit the program you're working on to perform any other tasks. And that can be a tedious and time-consuming process. With Documenter, you can share information between different desktop activities very easily. Loading different applications is virtually transparent to the user. Well, for example, Documenter has the unique ability to allow you to run DOS programs like WordStar or Lotus123 in one window and to cut and paste data from the DOS world to the Documenter world. Now that's real power! While the IBM PC naturally has full functionality in the area of running DOS programs, it is difficult to transfer data from one application to another in the IBM world. The Macintosh has no PC emulation capabilities, and it provides only limited access to PC programs through MacLink. Converting industry bestsellers like WordStar, Lotus, and VisiCalc on the Macintosh can be a messy, cumbersome job. You need to hook the Mac up to the IBM with a cable and then run two programs simultaneously. No fun at all. Converting files on Documenter is far superior to Macintosh in ease of use. All you do is copy your file into the file conversion utility, and the system does the rest. The ability to use multiple typeface styles and sizes on the same page is important to some customers, and IBM and Macintosh both have photo typesetting drivers, which allow them access to the extensive font libraries available in outside printing houses. But the vast number of choices can be simply overwhelming to the average customer. Since market research shows that few people use more than three fonts anyway, Documenter's comparatively limited selection of font sizes and typefaces is more than adequate for most customer requirements. In the area of special applications, Documenter wins hands down. Documenter allows you to perform operations that far exceed the capabilities offered on the IBM PC and the Macintosh. For instance, you have a multilingual keyboard with over a dozen international languages at your fingertips, including French, German, Spanish, and Italian. You have keyboards for office symbols, for logic symbols, and for math symbols, so you can do complex equations easily. The Macintosh has some multilingual capability, but like the IBM, it is not fully integrated. As far as layout complexity, PageMaker on the Macintosh does offer more flexibility and a greater degree of creative freedom in actual page design. Positioning text on top of graphics or graphics on top of text, seeing the elements come out all uh, merged together. It's fun, actually, if you like that sort of thing. Documenter allows for greater versatility in mixing document elements on a page. With Documenter, <laughs> what you see is what you get. IBM's publishing packages are not very well integrated with other applications. IBM has yet to solve the problem of putting text and graphics on the same page. And that's the truth. Let's not kid about cost. Since IBM is already so entrenched in the business world, purchasing a desktop publishing system from IBM will appear as a safe decision to loyal IBM customers. And since PageMaker by itself only costs about $500, purchasing a desktop publishing system on the Apple Macintosh might also appear safe, but fully configured. All three systems with a laser printer fall in the same ballpark, under $15,000 and that same amount of money buys much more power and functionality with a documenter. In terms of support, Apple's products are supported by retail outlets and local user groups, a carry-in arrangement which is highly fragmented and splintered at best. <clears throat> Uh, 
IBM and Xerox both have excellent reputations for directly supporting and servicing their products, but customers still see Xerox primarily as a copier company, not as a computer company. IBM is more widely perceived as a computer company which supports its customers very well. And when you're trying to sell a computer system like Documenter, that customer perception can often give Big Blue a decided selling advantage. Finally, let's talk about networking, the cost-efficient and convenient ability to share information and resources with other computers. All three systems do have some ability to link up with many computers, mainframes, and peripheral equipment like laser printers, plotters, and mass storage devices. However, Apple Talk is the slowest, both in terms of transmission speed and in efficiency. Lacking network supporting software, Apple Talk's third-party file serving capability can only handle print requests one by one often resulting in a slow-moving traffic jam on a busy electronic freeway. IBM's PCNet and token ring systems do move the traffic a bit and a byte faster, but they're still quite limited in their ability to fully share network resources. Widely accepted as the industry standard for networking, Xerox's Ethernet transmits data at speeds up to 10 million bits per second, more than twice as fast as IBM's token ring. And since network activities are spooled off into a buffer, users don't have to worry about going offline because of some electronic traffic jam. Productivity continues uninterrupted throughout the network. OK. The bottom line on the various competitive products comes down to this. The Documenter is a high-powered, well-integrated, multitasking workstation for the business environment. The competition is basically comprised of non-integrated, single-process, personal computers. What's the difference between a workstation and a personal computer? As scientists and engineers have known all along, workstations are much more productive than PCs. Workstations are distinguished by their larger-than-normal, high-resolution graphics screen. They have software which allows them to perform more than one task at the same time. They can display multiple operations on the same screen. And they have communications capabilities which allow them to work as standalones or to network into a larger system. In a nutshell, then, the difference is power and productivity achieved through a time-saving integration of several important functions. Okay, that's the overall picture. Now let's take a break. When you come back, we'll see how Documenter stacks up in a head-to-head -head comparison of certain key features against PageMaker on the Macintosh. <laughs>